a lot of times we tell things to people. I, for one, had to pay a, a heavy price of doing that. We, for one, we tell people things that we think they should be knowing. There's a lot of times that God places people in our life to help us, to uplift us, to encourage, encourage us, to pray for us, to, to make us stronger. When we got something going on in our life, it's to help build us up, right? But a lot of times the devil will place people in your life. It's almost like a plant. The devil will place people in your life to destroy you. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So he will place people in your life to destroy you. There are certain things that is off limits that you should not tell. I've learned God has told, had to tell me over and over. You know how you have to tell a child something. Uh, one of those, those children that you have to be told something a few times in order for you to get it. You know, uh, you have you have a, ch a child maybe like that that you got it. You had that you had that. My children are grown now, but there's a child that when they were younger, they you had to tell them something a couple times in order for them to get it. We all we all have done that to our parents, and we all have experienced that with our own children. So I'm one, and I'm sure God has probably told you things several times not to do when you did it anyway, and you felt oh I could do this. You know, um, no problem. It's okay. Um, everything is fine. One thing you shouldn't be telling people is you shouldn't be telling people what God shares with you in the secret place about yourself. You should not be telling that. And another thing you shouldn't be telling, you shouldn't be telling testimonies, giving testimonies unless God tells you to tell a testimony. If God tells you to tell a testimony, pray about uh, uh when God wants you to give your testimony, like say, or, you know, like say that you got something taking place, you're in a season of it right now, and you didn't, you didn't tell what somebody was going on. You should not do that. You have to pray about God telling you when to give a testimony. He will tell you when to give a testimony. Um, you should not be telling people again I say business moves for me I used to tell people when my album was coming out I told people when I was going to launch uh, you know, my business or when I was what, what I was putting in my business or what I was you know what I was what, what I was going to be selling in my business or when I would put a book out or when I would do this or when I would do that see the devil likes to um, throw up a roadblock and again, I say that there are people that the devil will put in your life as a plant. He plants them there to destroy you. And they be, they're smiling in your face. You know how they say they smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. The backstabbers, I remember um, the OJs put a song out like that years ago. I think it was the OJs. Um, my parents used to listen to that. But it's so true. There are people who are looking you straight in your face, around you, and they don't want to see you do well. It's something that the chosen, first off, but there's something inside of you that won't die. Regardless of how many hits you've taken, you won't lay down, and they want you to. But when you think about that, let's this, this, this think about that for a minute. If you got people around you that that don't want to see you grow, don't want to see you get up, don't want to see you move in life. Remember, it's not the flesh that we wrestle against, but it's Satan. So you know who is behind that. Remember, God says in the Bible, he says that um, do not be unequally yoked. And that is unequally yoked. A lot of times we feel like there can even be people that are Christians. Just like that story I told about the man that had been in church for years. And the other one was a babe in Christ. And he told him about his business move. Told him what kind of business he was going to have. The day when he was going to launch it, the man did the exact same thing. He launched one. He did the exact same business move. Our business, business idea and everything else. He basically stole his whole plan. And... The thing is, is that you have to be careful. We're talking about destinies here, that this is your destiny, your journey. No one can duplicate what God is doing in your life. But don't you know that people will try? They will try to duplicate it. And if they can't, they'll try to destroy you. They will try to make moves to destroy you, your business, everything else, your ministry, whatever it is. 
take you down completely. Will it work? Mm, short period of time, it can. It depends on you if you allow it to happen. But also, you gotta you gotta listen to God. When God says to remove people, me for one, I did not want to believe it. I did not want to believe it. This person was so close to me. I did not want to believe that they were that way. Few people. I did not want to believe it. You see, I remember that David, you know, in the Bible, David and Saul, Saul, or David loved Saul so much. He loved him. He really, truly loved Saul. But Saul was very, very, very envy of David. But, but at the same time, that person could make you act a certain way. Because remember when I told the story about the man that told that man his business moves? That, that man that told him that, he got so mad, he said, well, if church people could act this way, I don't want to be around them. And he left the church. He left the church. He, he, he came out of church. He left the church because he was so hurt by it happening that he didn't want to even... You see what I'm saying? How the devil can use that to destroy you. So when God tells you, do not tell a certain thing, don't do it. I've, I've had to learn and I've paid a heavy price for it many a times where I've told people, I've even told people that are, that are famous some of my ideas and they use them. They use them. You think they gave me money for it? No, but that's not my point. My point is, is that there's things that you can't tell other people. You think they're for you and they're not. They're not. And they are planted by Satan to take you down. To take you down. So you have to be careful. You got to pray. And I mean pray about everything. For God to bring people in your life. And for God to remove people out of your life if they're not meant there. If they're meant there, meant to cause you harm. You got to ask God to remove them. For me, it was hard because I really, truly loved them. These individuals. And they were close to me. And I couldn't see no wrong. I couldn't see they would never want to do that to me. They would never want to cause me harm. They want to see me grow. They want to see me do well. They want to see me succeed. Not everybody wants to. Not everybody not everybody wants to see you grow. You got to keep that thing to yourself, that dream, until it becomes a reality. Because if you tell people too much in, pre in the premature stages of it, they could, they could try to destroy it or steal the idea or whatever. And you know, I will say this, when people steal ideas, it doesn't matter because they don't have your sauce. But at the same time, you gotta be wise. You gotta be wise. My people perish for a lack of knowledge. You gotta, you gotta be wise. You gotta be wise. So things you don't tell is testimonies. When you're right in the season of something happening, something to say because I remember telling people about what was going on in my life and and God just told me they're not praying for you and I thought that it was that way and they wasn't and I could have just kept it to myself because they there was no prayer taking place and you know what God brought loving people in my life at the same time, the devil brings people and God brings people. But you got to be wise. You got to ask God. If you, don't, if you don't know, ask God and he'll tell you. I pray that this word helps you. I pray this word helps you so much. And if you are dealing with that, because it, it's sometimes hard. You want to tell people you're excited. You want to tell people what you're doing. You're you're hyped up. You're this, you're that. And you trust you trust people. You trust an individual. And you think sometimes that person has your best interest. And they don't. They don't.
they don't, instead of people being happy for you, no. Because it, it's, it's so much in this world that you just think about it, you like everybody can win, right? But that's not so with the devil. Remember, we don't, you got to remember, we don't wrestle against flesh. With Satan. So he uses people. People want to be used. Yes, they should get delivered. Yes, they should get set free from that, that jealousy or envy or whatever it is. But at the same time, he will. If somebody wants to be used, the devil will use them and plant them right there. And it don't even have to be nobody close to you. It could be a stranger. And asked you, what do you do? What is this? I ask you all these questions, right? You're being kind and you want to tell them and this and that. And, and you just, and then they use it against you and it's try to destroy you. I pray that this word helps you. God bless you. Be blessed.